Welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I will tell you about how main engine sea water cooling system works. Watch the video till the end. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Let's get started the video. Sea water cooling system comprises of high sea test, which is used in shallow water to reduce and take up sediments. Low sea chest which could be used among other things when navigating in ice covered water or when the vessel is rolling to avoid losing suction. Strainer Main engine sea water pumps Charge air cooler is used to cool engine air after it has passed through a turbocharger but before it enters the engine. Piston cooling water cooler This cooler depends on engine that which type of engine is it. Lube oil cooler. This cooler will remove heat from hot oil by using sea water. Jacket cooling water cooler. This cooler will remove heat from hot water by using sea water. Control wall. This wall shut off water flow in one pipe while opening water flow in another pipe. Temperature sensor. It gives signal to control wall. Seawater is pumped continuously into the vessel from the sea chest and discharged once it has gone through the engine room heat exchanger. High capacity centrifugal pumps are used to suck in and throw out high volume of water in this loop all day every day. In the engine room, the seawater removes heat from various heat exchanger. The seawater makes its way to engine jacket heat exchanger, mobile heat exchanger and various other heat exchanger. Sea water does not directly cool the machinery since it is corrosive and can quickly deteriorate or damage the machinery metals. That is why heat exchanger are used. In the heat exchanger, the sea water cools fresh water through conduction. The fresh water then goes into the machinery and cools it while the sea water continues on the main sea water line. Heat exchanger come in either tube type or plate type. They perform the same function using the same principle. In a situation where seawater temperature rises, the temperature sensor gives signal to the control wall. The control wall shut off water flow in a circulating line. If the ship passes through a cool area, the control wall distributes the flow by 60-40% keeping both lines open.